Hi everyone, it's the tiniest one back with another video for you. And now the initial kind of like rush of reviews are out the way, I'm on to my next stage of motherboard reviews. So I do have a few to get through, but thanks to Facebook and we did a poll. First up is the Asus Prime. So uh, we will give you a really good look around the board, but we can get this bit out of the way quite quickly because inside the box, it's actually quite light. You get uh, four SATA cables in that little package there. You get RGB extenders. You get a little fan bracket, which I'll show you in a minute. You can put up on the VRM area at the top. And then you get a vertical holder for an M.2, which I can also show you where that goes in a minute. In fact, I will keep it out so that I can. Now, in all of the boxes, you do get a cable mod voucher. And I always do this in my videos because I think it's nice to share. So there is your code. If you do use it, drop me an Instagram or a tweet or post underneath. I'd like to see what you end up purchasing with your 20% off. Anyway, so there's not a great deal in the box. It is very light, which is quite surprising considering the board still comes in at over £400. Now, I know a lot of you are now gasping for breath because of that price, but there, uh, this is actually, and I mean this quite genuinely, one of the cheaper ones um, because sort of like 500 plus is where the bulk of the boards are sitting and the, uh, the Zenith and the Extreme and the creator are all 700 pound plus. So the boards are all massively expensive and we do think that it's because of PCR Express 4 and how uh, expensive it is to get those all running properly. Now I did say to you about the bracket. Now you do get a couple of M.2s underneath here and it actually does have airflow for the um, uh, fan on the chipset to be able to cool those, but you do get another one for up here so you can mount it vertically. Now I've used these in the past, they look a bit weird. In fact, I'm running one now. But when you have it up like that, if you've got the airflow from the front of your case coming in, can actually end up working quite well to help keep your uh, drive a bit cooler. Now, right from the get-go, we're gonna work our way around the board, but largest part about this board and probably the part that most of you are going to be most interested in is the VRMs. Now, large heatsink. It's not just a block of aluminium, but at the same time, it's not got the funky um, fins that some of the other boards have got. So when I first saw it, I did get worried, especially the fact is, like I said, there are mounts around here for you to screw a, a little fan bracket on and it made me wonder whether it was going to be getting too hot. So to bring up the uh, <coughs> graph for it really, really early on, it actually did a lot better than I was expecting. With the overclock, you were looking at a very healthy 4.3 gigahertz across all the cores at 1.35 volts. And that is the, what you'll be getting uh, for the overclock for the rest of the video as well. CPU Z shows where we went with it. And uh, we didn't use AVX to load the uh, VRMs up, but normally when you load the VRMs up, uh, sorry, when you use AVX anyway, in the BIOS, they normally kick the multiplier down a couple of notches anyway. So we just go full bore uh, with the um, best maximum overclock. And with the stock, that's it just doing whatever it wants, uh, with the volts doing whatever it wants. And you can see that the VRMs actually kind of coped with it quite well. Now, they do use 60 amp Infineon uh, MOSFETs, but the, uh, it's still um, are wired parallel. So you've got an eight phase controller wired out into 16 power phases. So it's kind of similar to the way that the um, uh, Zenith Omega was. So you've got a, you kind of get an idea there. The, the VRMs with these boards are being pushed. You know, the, the quality of them is amazing. 
Now that obviously I'm only testing it with the 24 core and we do have the 32 core and then obviously later on the possibility or we know it's coming but we just don't know when of the 64 core which is insane. Um, so maybe the thinking forward with that and if I do if I am lucky enough to get hold of a 3990X I will go back and do VRM tests on every single one of the boards as well just to see how well each one of them copes. But with this being one of the entry level boards, despite the price, uh, I don't think it would be fair to expect this to, you know, break records uh, with VRM temps. <clears throat> anyway, as we work our way around the board, um, so at the top, what I can show you, and I'll do this one by hand, is you can see that you have the eight pin at the top and it's shielded. You can see the metal shield around the outside. And they've also got the uh, solid pins and you've got that one there. And then when we come across to the other side of the board, you can see you've got the other eight pin there. And again, it's solid pins. Two uh, CPU fan headers at the top. And then when we come round that little bit more, what you can see are the two RGBs and you've got the addressable and the, the normal one. Your 24 pin as you come down, you can see that you get a couple of solid pins there. I'm assuming that's going to be the 12 volts points but anyway they're not all solid that's your mount for the m.2 that i showed you that was vertical then you've got your usb 3.2 gen 2 header you get another fan header there and then your external normal usb 3 then as you work your way down you get eight satas down the side and i'm just going to move the board slightly so that we can show you in detail so you get your front panel headers you get a water pump header another fan header usb3 again two usb2s asus node and as you come along you get your rgb and your rgb addressable you got a power header poster led then you get up to your audio you can see the um, japanese capacitors there swinging up the side now underneath that heatsink there is for a pair of m.2s obviously it's pcr express 4 and then when we come back in up to the top the io shield at the back is just plastic although the prime there does light up and it does have a uh, rgbargy on it and if you don't know what rgbargy is it's basically what we call rgb and then round to the back with the connectivity, BIOS flashback port, four, say, um, four USB 3s, you get another one there, you come down a little bit more and then you get into your quicker USBs. You've got a C there, that is just gigabit ethernet, I might add, but again, you know, lower end of the boards and then your audio round the back. So moving swiftly on to performance, I've spoken to you about the overclock already uh, and we've shown you all the screenshots and all that sort of stuff, but we're going to go straight in with the Vegas graph. Now, the Vegas graph was a bit of a weird one because it didn't seem to benefit much from the overclock. And normally with uh, Vegas, what it does is kind of, it does like core speed. So it, 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 pen, it renders us with a few problems. Now, we know that you have the prioritized core going on with these now, as long as you've got Windows 1903. Although there is 1909 coming out now, which actually should make things a little bit better. But we do know that the cores can boost quite well with the 3960X and we end up kind of hemming them back a little bit at just 4.3, but with all of them at 4.3 rather than one of them at 4.8. And uh, like Vegas does like core speed, as I've said. And you can see that there's not a great deal of difference between the two. And we ended up then going looking to make sure that our overclock was stable and we weren't getting any of the cores um, going kind of down via throttling or anything like that. And the performance of the overclock was absolutely spot on. We weren't getting any issues or anything like that, which, which is why I did want to talk about the, the Vegas result to kind of bring it up to raise those issues. And that's why we do lots of different tests and that is so that we can make sure that, you know, everything is all right. So Vegas was a bit of a weird one. But then when we flick on and we look at Blender, you can actually see that you do get a decent boost from increasing that core speed. 
maybe not as much as we would have wanted, but the, one of the reasons why these look a little bit closer together is in reality that the stock result was much stronger than the others in the graph. Uh, when we move on to Cinebench, it's kind of there or thereabouts. This is kind of where I would have expected it to have been in a price sense, really, with the overclock anyway. Kind of sits, you know, in about sort of the right place. It's not going to, or I wouldn't expect it to top the graph. One of the other things I will say is the other boards that we've done all ended up coming uh, or getting an extra BIOS via AMD. And we, we, wait, we waited a little bit after the initial launch to try and get extra biases, well, to see if any extra biases appeared on the website. And I've just double checked and we did test it on 0602, just so that you can kind of cross check it to whatever you're using at home, if you're watching this later on, uh, or if you know, you're, you know, you're just trying to get an idea of where we were. It may get updated, uh, well, it will get updated, and what I will say is this version is actually quite an early one uh, and it hasn't had the extra kind of reviewer BIOS that the, because you get a launch pack from AMD if you're lucky enough. Oh, I didn't. Uh, but anyway, you get, uh, and those, those boards had uh, an extra BIOS on. So we're waiting for this one to get updated. But we didn't want to spend ages waiting and waiting and waiting. And to be fair, it's only really that Vegas result that um, it kind of needed a little bit more explanation. But beyond that, it is one of the amazingly lower price boards with these. They are just that little bit more expensive to produce because of the PCI Express 4. And it follows suit with the prices that we saw with X570. Uh, and also, to be fair, if you're going to be looking at buying a 3960X, or a, a you know, 3970X, if you're lucky, you're obviously going to be spending a fair amount of money on your processor. You're probably not going to want to skimp out and buy a 200 pound motherboard. Uh, so with this, I'd say the only thing really missing would have been quicker Ethernet. The VRMs all kind of do their job. Um, it's not excessively flashy. All of the parts are in reality there. Some of you are going to say that you would have preferred Thunderbolt, but that seems to be limited on a lot of the boards. Um, so the only other thing would have been the uh, extra Ethernet. And if you're really that worried about that, there is more than enough PCI Express lanes here. And I will bring you up the graph as well so that you can see the, how they're all distributed. But um, there's more than enough PCI Express here for you to be able to do that, depending on if you're running a massive swathe of uh, cards to render on, maybe. So that may be the only thing that might trip you up. But beyond that, if you're not, then you can... Uh, bang one in there. But it, it's really going to depend how often you're pushing lots and lots of uh, information around a network. You obviously get around 120 megabytes a second with the uh, normal 10, with the normal gigabit, but it obviously does go up to a gigabit a second when you're running 10 GBE. And uh, to be fair, once you're running it, you're not. And if, you've not, if you're not using 10 GB at home for your internal network, it makes no difference to your internet, for your internal network, maybe look at uh, switches and maybe different NAS or home storage options, as in like home servers and stuff, for, as part of a, another upgrade. Especially if, like I said, you are sending data around an internal network a lot. But it's normally for offices and pretty kind of like people that are really, really into their own home kit. Anyway, so it's a great little board. And in reality, considering the lower price the vrms actually did really well they surprised me how well they did if i'm perfectly honest so yeah nice work aces